Alright, welcome back to another episode of this Iron Man campaign here with the Stoic Gamer. And we are punching into Axilis now. Alright, we're going to go through our pirate jump point and see what happens here. Alright, so this is pretty tough. We're in uh, some uncharted space here near the Axilis system, or perhaps not too near it. A jump can take us up to 30 light years away about. So they used a pirate point, which is risky, so that's what they're talking about now. So, when did you realize they were going to use a pirate point? <sighs> that's a sneeze. Alright. So, when did you realize? Yeah, we were way out of position, so. Well, anyway, here we are. <coughs> oh, I think I'm allergic to pirate jump points. All right, so let's get let's get this show on the road, folks. Here's the moon, the pirate moon, where the ship that uh, Centrella asked us to recover is supposed to be, the Argo. So let's uh, see, Grim Sybil, self-styled bandit queen called Grim Sybil. Right. Grim Sybil, is that supposed to be scary? <laughs> Sounds like the kind of name you'd choose out of a hat. What do their defenses look like? Patchy at best. I don't think Axelus gets a lot of visitors. Little air cover, ground defenses, a lot of vehicles, but light battle mech activity. Alright, so the pirates have some turrets, and maybe some mechs. So we gotta take out the radar guided air to anti aircraft guns first. Then. The engineering team can land and try to get the Argo going again. Alright, so let's get that going. Lady Centrella has bet a massive stack of sea bills that they will. For what it's worth, I believe that her chief engineer can pull this off. So he looked up about Dr. Murad and apparently she's got a reputation for recovering ships. But I'm a little, I'm a little skeptical of that. We'll see. I wouldn't expect to find a really top-notch engineer this far outside the combine. Well, hopefully, uh, Dr. Murad will defy that particular stereotype. We'll find out one way or another. Soon enough. Alright, let's get this done. Alright, I'm going to leave the guillotine behind this time. Uh, let's use a little bit lighter mech and let's get some less... What could be defined as some less capable... Or less... Uh, trained up mech warriors in there. Let's get Whisper over here. These guys are fine. Alright, let's get it done. Here we go. Alright, so I have to Pay attention to what's going on. We gotta get those anti-aircraft guns. And these are pirates. I think most of their equipment is pretty beat up. Or they don't panel on the full complement of armor or something like that. Because they can't afford it or it's not available. One reason or another. So here we go. Let's get this done. We're on Axelus, Axelus's moon. Everybody's charming as you'd expect. Pirate occupied moon to be. Alright, so there's the radar stations up there. This is... Okay, not, no battle max in sight at the moment. There's a tower generator. And... <coughs> And then there, oh, there's the Argo right there in the middle there. That's pretty big. Wow. A lot bigger than our Leopard. wonder what uh, Centrella wants to do with that. Right, let's see. So I can go a few ways here. I think I... I'm going to go straight up the gut. Let's go this way. Aye. Draw them out. Moving to position. I'm waiting for the Zapper. Rolling. Let's see, look down here, no contacts on radar yet. Order. Oh, actually there's a contact. Let's, see. let's jump into position here. Let's get good visual. Let's get good wood. Firing oh, that's a turret. Okay, that's alright. 
So we got a job Wake up, here. you idiot. We've got company. Yeah, I'm gonna blow the shit out of it because I don't have range on that turret. Yeah. You can't fight it. <laughs> she killed one of her own guys. Any more objections? Oh, sweet Jesus. Good. Oh, Get out there and fight. Alright, Zapper, you gotta take the shot. Locking target. Wow, nice shot. It's, it's not even. It's over here, man. Gonna need That's a calibration on my targeting system. You need a calibration on your brain, dude. Let's How's get it going? Time lowered up there. I think we can clean its clock. It is. Yeah, we can. I think we just need one of these. No, wait a minute. Twenty-six. I think I better fire them both. Got it. Yeah. Target destroyed. One less turret. I really like the way Panthers look. I'm receiving you. Ronan in there. Let's move up to the front. Got it. Full speed, no target. Shadowhawk is my heaviest mech at this uh, juncture in this deployment. All right, so uh, can I reserve? No, yes, I can. Reserve. So that move. All right, so I want to take out this turret generator first. I'm here. Let's just move up and sink some heat. This moon, I think it's because there's not much atmosphere. I think many people don't realize the reason that a place like this would be unfriendly to heat dissipation is because thermal heat, so non-electromagnetic radiation, requires a medium to propagate. You know, uh, heat, heat itself, the heat that we feel and is not, you know, dangerous to us like radiation is, is the molecular level expression of kinetic energy is the, the movement rate or the vibration rate of uh, the molecules that we touch or that make up our body. So in order that for that energy to propagate to something else, it has to touch something else. And if there's no air here on this moon, there's nothing for the heat that is in our mechs for example, to dissipate to. It can dissipate a little bit into the ground because their feet are touching the ground here on the moon, but if there's no atmosphere in the air, then the heat can't really escape that way. Um, yeah, so that's... Intuitively, I think that's why that's going on. All right, let's fire. Not that good to hit, but we're going to have to fire on this star generator here. And then I think Ronan's going to have to clean, it, clean its clock. Acknowledged. Come on, Ronan, let's do this shit. Gonna, yeah, just fire those two weapons. I think that's enough. Yeah, let's go. All right. Oh, I missed. Wow. It's pretty embarrassing. Wow, what is that? That's. I think that's a striker. Oh, a bulldog, okay. There he is. Yeah. That, I think, is a striker. Just a little light damage there, no problem. Light damage, Commander. Alright, so let's get the Standing Panther. By. I think we can clean up. Now here, the PPC. Unless you're gonna fire, you know, not even at the thing again. Primitive. There you go. Now we're cooking grease. Flatten that one. All right, let's get whisper. All right, let's just stomp on this guy. Try to stomp on this guy. Moving out. We have the 
melee at a run mod. I forget the exact name of it, but allows you to attempt melee at running range for your Enemy mech. Vehicle destroyed. I think with a little bit of a penalty to hit, but it's still pretty accurate. Even on a moving target, so... Alright, so let's get, get something to our left there. I'm gonna get Time Lord up here. Try to take a shot at this guy. Yeah, he's, gonna, he's probably gonna clean his clock right here. I think we just need one LRM rack. I don't want to build up too much. He's toast. He's toast. He's toast. toast! Ooh. Vehicle track. Got, I don't know what model of small laser that is, but it's got some. Commander? Got a couple of pluses there and a minus. Alright, let's engage these guys. Let's see, we got that. Well, I really can't hit him. I'm gonna go ahead and just fire on the antenna from here. All right. This antenna on the left. This is guidance for the radar guns. All right, fire. Confirmed. All right, it's coming down. Striker, he's got some SRMs. Of you. But he doesn't have gunnery much, apparently. Then we got let's get yes, Zapper commander. up here. Finish this up. I'm walking here. Mr. the Panther. <coughs> Just PPC. Acknowledge. There we go. Now you're cooking with grease. Yes, let's try and step on this guy now. On the move. Whisper, you are stomping him out of existence. Attack. Boom. Striker is toast. Commander. All right. Roger. So this one should be able to be finished up. Let's just fire the medium lasers. Knocking on target. All right. We weren't able to finish it. We couldn't hit stationary yes, antenna with medium lasers. Nice work. So I guess it's up to you. Yeah, just one medium laser, you can clean it up. There you go. There it goes, collapsing on itself with a little physics there. Those are not ren pre-rendered, that is actual objects falling with some kind of physics there. I don't know how accurate it is, but it looks good. Let's hit this antenna now. Got it, Commander. So once these are down, we can move in with our Engine team and the recovery team and attempt to get this axless flying again. Okay, we got plenty of ammo. Yes. yes, Commander. Something On a little, it. A little more accurate here. Acknowledge. Okay. Waiting for orders. Right. Move order received. And once again, just the main laser will up. Oh, you missed. You, it looks like you hit, but you missed. <laughs> I don't know what that 19% or that percentage is after I'm ready. hitting something like that. I'm not sure what that's referring Moving to. to position. Right, let's just fire the SRMs on this one. I think. Just, we just need one of them to connect. There we go. Let's get to the crash site. Right, so it is over here, so we gotta go through that gap there in the ship. I'm there. Good to go. Yeah, Great orders. I'm going. Right, so there's some Confirm. heat dissipation going on here. I don't know how the heat Roll sinks the work when there's no atmosphere exactly, but... I await your command. I wonder... No, oh, there's some atmosphere. No, not really. Wait a minute. Why is this on fire? Is there an atmosphere or not? Why is there fire here? 
Is there oxygen for that to consume? No. I don't know, how, I don't know the... I guess I don't know that much about this planet. Or not planet, but Location this moon. I'm your spaniel. Alright, almost in there. <coughs> brace that, brace that. Alright, but I'm ready to go. Brace him. I'm receiving you. Step in there. On my way. Alright, there it is. So go ahead, let's get the engineering team down. A leopard. Let's see how small it is compared to this thing. Uh, it is very small compared to the Argo. <coughs> All right, so we gotta keep it safe. All right, people, you know what to do. Marines, clear the ship of pirates. You got it, boss. Oh, that was an MOC. Magistry of Cannabis Marine Unit <coughs> Infantry Along with Dr. Frog Alright, so we got some contacts here We are going to engage Let's put this javelin up in front and just open fire Let's see who's got a better chance to get a fire on this guy Wow, nice. That was subpar at best. Commando come in. Ah, oh, you're gonna shellack us. Oh, shit. This purple is a little too strong. You're gonna change the color. Took a hard hit there. Commander? Right. Let's move in here. That's really bad to hit. Acknowledge. Right, alpha this guy. Oh, let me see what I can get. No, I don't want to waste that position on that. It's just fine with like this. Punching all the buttons. Pushing all the buttons. He's already exposed just a few SRMs off the map already. Alright, that's enough on the medium lasers to try and do some damage to this guy. Target confirmed. Yeah, left torso's gone. That hit something good. He's a little worried about it. Here comes a Jenner. Jenners are pretty... I like Jenners. They've got some firepower too. Oh yeah, that's pretty brutal. Okay, we're gonna have to repair this Javelin. Internal I'm gonna get, him to get her the hell out of the way. Stand as as by. Oh, let's, let's shellac this commando. Affirmative. This, this uh, shadow off. Double the size of this guy. Targeting for physical attack. Oh, nice miss. Nice miss. Nice going. Great That's one, the champ. Real proud of you. We got a locust coming in. Is he gonna, are you gonna kick my shadow hawk? <coughs> Oof. Didn't do too much there. So chip off a little armor. On steady Oof, we're exposed in the back there. Internal structure damage. Turn around. There's a galleon. Okay, that's good. I missed. I think he hit this big rock in the way. Get this clump of minerals or rock, whatever that is. Let's get, let's get involved too. Let's get the rock right there in and smash that. Locust up a little Talk bit. <coughs> oh man, a lot of missing with the bleed. Man. All right, so the commando's backing up. Shot my shadowhawk. Commandos, commandos—they uh, can do stuff. They're they're pretty light, but they can do stuff. Right, I'm gonna back up and. Oh, I'm gonna drill this man up big time right now. Watch this shit. Boom! Oh, he is fun. He should eject. Yeah, he's gone. He just got cleaned out. He lost his SRMs. He got injured again. He got the hell out of there. Okay. Oh, that's a. That SRM does more damage. That SRM pack, I think. 
Or is it? Yeah, I think it's plus two damage and maybe it's less accurate or something. Let's take a look at that. Salvage. Alright, so let's see. Time over. Receiving you. Maybe Ronan. I gotta I'm turn Ronan. You. I wanna turn Ronan around. I don't want her back facing all these guys. Like this right now. Alright, so let's turn around like this. And I think we can probably clean out that Jenner. That's probably the most dangerous. Let's use this and clean out that Jenner. A little alpha strike. Let's go. Oh, Alright, he's exposed. Yeah, it's a plus plus minus on this round four. Alright, and there's a scorpion to deal with. From, from range over there. Yes, boss. Alright, I think we can. Yeah, let's clean up this guy. Fire the medium lasers. Engaging with target. Jump jet destroyed. Inflicted some heavy damage. To, uh, the AI should not come in close range with those vehicles. Dr. Murad, what's happening in there? Right, come so in, now they're trying to figure out what's going on with the recovering the ship. A little busy. The pirates are dead. All right, I'm going to try to step on the galleon. So are half of my engineers. It's an unholy mess in here. <laughs> Bodies everywhere. Can you get the ship flying again? I need All right, galleon destroyed. Look, do you want me to talk Locus or do you want me to fix the damn ship? You do your job. I'll fire. Fire. We got some armor breach here on the left side of the Shadowhawk. And whisper. Let's see, whisper. What's whisper gonna do? Yeah, I think we can clean. Clean up with the SRMs here. Fire. Oh, he's dead. That was a CT crit. Mech warriors, Target destroyed. Show what you got. Target destroyed. And there's a scorpion medium tank in the back there. I think it's a medium tank or a light tank. Uh oh. All right, Ronan Standing is about by. to bite the dust. Let's try and Roger. give this locust a punch, a kick, a smash. <laughs> oh. Gonna be toast. Guard a critical hit. All right, and Time Lord. Let's see, Time Lord. All right, you you give him a smash as well. Spit some heat. Oh yeah. That locust is gonna be. Spinning. Target taking a critical hit. Run away, little bitch. Get out of here! He's not even gonna engage anybody, he's just running back. Orders? Uh, let's clean up. You, you blow up the scorpion. I'll strike that, don't miss. There you go. That thing can't stand up to a PPC. You shouldn't have come here. Receiving you. And. Yeah. Good to go. Give him an SRM salvo. He's got some firepower to us from six. That guy's gotta be. Inflicted from he's gotta be just about ready to eject here. All right, yes, let's, Commander. Let's try to give him a punch. Do I want to do that? I don't want to expose the back of. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Let's go. Let's jump over here. That'll be okay. Copy that. Because I don't want to put my back here. There's gonna be more mechs coming from this direction. I think. So no, this is not going to hit. As far as these three. Taking the shot. <laughs> Whoa! That's, look at those physics. A laser did that. That's pretty. Okay. How's it going? It's pretty interesting. All right, same thing. I don't want to jump around there. So let's get like Moving this. Fire the medium lasers. Locked on target. Right, he's got to be toast soon. He might eject now. Nice. Wow. Ah, here we go. Yeah, that's where those mechs come from. So two more mechs. It's uh, probably a heavy mech. It's a 
terrible condition, Yang says. Alright, so let's clean this guy up. I think I just need one SRM rack right now. This bit a little heat, save some ammo. Yeah, he's toast. Pilot is gonna be knocked out. He might get killed by this chunk of whatever. <laughs> Alright. I live to serve. I think I can reserve this. Let's give them a chance to move out. Alright, there's the Shadowhawk. Alright, since the Shadowhawk came out first, we're gonna try to concentrate on him. Ah oh, shit. I lost a weapon! Alright, we just took the Shadowhawk is taking damage, so I'm gonna get somebody else in front here. Let's get the time Standing load up by. in front, try to take some damage. Absorb some of the damage, and let's fire everything. Uh, take back two lasers, keep the heat under. Get like Zapper up done. there. Onward. And get the PPC involved. Got Come it, on, Peter. buddy. Oh man. Right one. Gonna have to score some hits. Waiting right, for orders. Get... Oh, the LRM is gone. Okay, that's why. All right, let's just get back and brace. Jump jet. So she's more secure. Okay, AC-5 unjammed, and make it less likely that they're going to target Shadowhawk since she's already exposed. Right, so that's probably Grim Sybil's mech. I think it's a quick draw, it looks like. 60 ton heavy. But she's got to be pretty exposed, not fully repaired, so we should be alright if we just On my way. concentrate. Alright, I'm just going to fire one rack here because i got to dissipate some heat. Try to clean this guy's clock. All right, now we got some. You better, you better hit now with the PPC. Roger that. There you go. Okay, open up that armor. This just Let's peel it back. Critical hit. Oh, you're gonna punch somebody? Okay, coming on the jet with this. Might take some damage there. Ooh, nice miss. That is awesome. Alright, let's get Ronan involved. Let's punch this guy. On this side. Sure, let's go. <coughs> take off some evasion. Get a little contact going. Hopefully we don't contract coronavirus from this guy. Let's do this. Alright. Uh, let's do it. Yeah, let's go for another hit here so we can dissipate some heat, maybe some melee attacks. Oh, I gotta change the camo on this. That is, that is ugly, man. <laughs> yep, there it is. Quick draw. It's. Footsteps, I guess. Boy, that was a bad shot. Some damage here. Let's just blast them in the face with the SMR. And Zapper. Commander. Sure, let's let's punch him in the back. I'm walking here. Try to dissipate some heat. Do some physical attacks. There you go, right arm, right torso gone, and you probably fall down. I think I hit something good. There he goes. See you later, boss. I do like Shadowhawks, so we'll probably grab. Instead of the quick draw, I'll probably grab some uh, pieces from that. Alright, let's do some more damage here. Mm. The worth is not massive, but it's enough. I'm here. Keep stepping on them. There you go, left arm destroyed. I'm gonna try to stand up now. And we 
you going? You running away, boss? Uh, oh, we lost. We lost his side of that javelin. Probably lost one. Yeah, one of the SRM. Rax is probably gone. Charles going upstairs. Firing at the Whitworth for reasons unknown. So we're going to put the left flank of the Whitworth on the side there. Uh, Oh, we don't have any ammo. Alright, I'm gonna get... I guess I gotta just bump into you or whatever is going on here. Not, not gonna do much damage, apparently. Yeah, I missed. I'm receiving you. 50... Alright, we'll do that. Let's beat the rest of the heat. Take a swipe at this guy with Panther. A kick, Bam. apparently. Boom. If we take out a leg, it'll be Reporting done. This, uh, pilot is injured. He's running. He's, oh, he's gonna hit us. Ooh, okay, we lost another weapon probably on there. I think it was a medium laser. She's just getting really beat up right now. Right, come on, take out the leg, take out the leg, take out the leg. Still up, still up. Still up. Alright, I'm gonna try to unload on Grim Sybil. Full alpha strike, and let's use precision. Let's get some heavy damage here. Uh, let's go ahead and... Let's try to get lucky. Let's go for the head. Go! Oh, yeah, opened up that armor. It's a good hit, good hit. Oh, shit, here he comes. Or here she comes. Come on, buddy. Oof. Just gotta Move order, hit this guy. Hopefully the leg goes. Yeah, there we go. He's gone. He's going to sleep. Pilot's done. Alright, so now it's just a quick draw. Let's finish this up. Alright, let's see Zapper. Alright, let's alpha strike him in the face. Her in the face. Don't need to use that right now. Come on, get that CT. Primitive. Oof, almost, almost. Solid connection on that one. Let me see what Ronan yes, has. She's got an SRM2, she's got an EC5. You know, we can try to... Location confirmed. Precision right into that center torso and clean up. No, I don't think we can destroy it yet, but we can... Make it close. Fire. Engaging target. Good hit, good hit. Good hit, good hit. Medium laser gone. Reporting critical hit. Jump jet gone. And Time Lord. Time Lord might be able to finish this up. Alright, we're gonna not overheat here. I'm gonna take off the LRMs. Take off a medium laser. Um I'm gonna have to repair if we do this. Let's see what kind of We need two to do it though. Alright. Should I use precision? Let's, all right, let's do it anyway. Firing on target. All right, I think that that CT is just about ready to blow. <clears throat> Probably has about nine hit points left on the center torso. Ah, uh, we just lost AC5 Damage ammo. Critical. Auto cannon is damaged. Awaiting orders. That, no, that's, okay. Waiting for orders. Here we go. Let's see what we can do with this. I don't have a precision shot, so you just gotta get lucky on that center torso. Two SRMs or the PPC. Come on. Come on. Whisper. Ah, shit. All right, I'm just gonna have Whisper run away, otherwise she's gonna get smashed. Roger that. Full speed. 
She's got no weapons. She can't melee him right now, so I don't want—I don't want to take her to take a free shot. All right, yes, Time Lord should be able to bring this up. All right, let's fire two medium lasers. Roger that. Target confirmed. Still up. Oh. Medium laser gone. Score the critical. Oh, she's gone. Okay. All set. What a little bitch. Wow. All right, let's get in there. Affirmative. Respond. I will be done. Let's go, boys. Technologies. All right, so let's get in here. I think we're all set. Get the ship ready to go. Let's I'm here. In. <coughs> we're all set. All right, let's get this ship up. Go now, celebrate later. All right, Commander, to your first time in two centuries, let's get this ship flying. Mission successful. All right, we got it. Took some damage, though. Definitely gonna need to do some repairs. I lost some weapons. Had some pilot injuries. So we're gonna have to use these sea bills to take care of that. Yeah, we got two. Yeah, we lost. This room six. These mechs. I think these ones are. The internals are undamaged. Just some armor. Auto cannon five. That can be repaired. Lost some minus weapons. So that's okay. Alright, we'll be alright. Alright, let's see what we want here. Some decent weapons. This is Bulldog, large laser, less accurate, more damage, less crit, a little more range. AC5, less, let's see, less damage, more accurate. This one is just a little bit cooler and lower jam rate. Deleon 5 model, Autocannon 5 and Armstrong J11. This is a hotter but a little more accurate LRM-10. It ignores one evasive marker. This one does more stability damage but less crit chance. And then we got some minus and plus medium lasers. Plus, plus, minus. Cooldown one. Oh, it cannot be, it cannot be fired every turn. Hmm. Yeah, okay. It has, to, it has to be fired every other turn. It's got a cooldown one. A little more damage, a little more accurate. And we have some nice small lasers. Let me see, what should I take here? I think I want this large laser. Alright, I'm gonna grab this large laser. And we can get... Okay, let's... Uh, oh, that's in Russian. Okay. <laughs> okay. I should talk to the. I think that's the custom ammo categories mod doing that. I'm gonna let this. I'm gonna let this get random. What kind of mech parts I get. So let's just pick three weapons. So ammo. I don't. I'm not gonna grab ammo. Oh, maybe SRM six. One plus one damage. Heat gen stability less accurate. So it's a little hotter. But it's more effective in terms of damage. I like this because I need an SRM six for my javelin. And I think I'm gonna grab one of these Jackson Jackson 17 medium lasers. Let's try that out. All right, and then I'm gonna get some more items. All right, some Shadowhawk Locust. Okay, I got the Quick Cell AC5. I got a crappy Omicron 4000 medium laser. It's just produces more heat. Okay, I got two nice okay stock SRM4 Tarhees. Okay, nice. Let's go. Alright, so now the Argo is in the air, or in space. And another successful mission for the Oregon Irregulars.
There's Maria Centrella. My real client. Oh, it's uh, the lady herself, Camilla Arano. Happy to see you again, Storm. Or should I say, Commander? The old man would be pleased. It must come as a shock to you seeing us here at Alloway, seeing us at all. I apologize for that, but I had to be sure that you were the McWarrior I remembered before I reached out to you. None of that matters, Lady Ren. Just happy to see you live. Can't believe you're standing in the entire region soon as you're dead. Alright, so this is this is too sappy. <laughs> this is too uh touchy and bitchy. Holy shit, I thought you were dead. She was dead. News feeds ran footage of your dropship getting blown out of the sky on a loop for months. That wasn't her dropship. The broadcasts of her death were director directorate propaganda. Well crafted lies to keep the masses in line. Alright, so See you later, Centrella. She was right about the propaganda storm. My uncle's directorate is run on lies. So the Oregon directorate is pretty tyrannical, according to the people in front of us. The directorate's assassins pursued us into the frontier. Eventually they gave up. I don't know if that's a little... I don't know how easy they would give up. Okay, where have you been hiding? Okay, you made a, uh, let's talk about why. What do you want? I imagine you've already guessed. I intend to seek justice for my uncle's crimes. I intend to take my throne back. So we're playing the Game of Thrones. We have resources and army drawn from all across the frontier. Perhaps most importantly, we have the patronage of Lady, Lady Centrella and the tacit support of her government. So they have a uh, reason that they want her back on the throne. I like money. <laughs> That's a good one. But let's be a little more tactful with our words. So I hadn't realized that the Arabian coalition was on such good terms with the magistracy. It wasn't, not really. But they want to see the director it dealt with, and it isn't in their interest to do it themselves. All right. So it's an asset worth paying for. The claim to the throne. The Rimwood Periphery is a powder keg storm. Tensions between the Torian Concordat and the Federated Sons are high. My uncle's military posturing could be viewed as a provocation by either side. If open conflict between superpowers were to erupt, it'd be difficult for anyone to remain neutral. The magistrate wants to avoid getting dragged into a major war. So this is where this is why Centrella is pouring some cash into this to uh, fight indirectly the directorate. All right. Correctly enough, Oliveira, but understand that this isn't just about diffusing a dangerous situation. For me, taking on the directorate is personal. My uncle betrayed me. The founding council has been reduced to a handful of powerless figureheads. Our very identity has been cut away and discarded. House Bespinosa is long overdue for a reckoning, and with your help, I'll bring them one. Join me, Storm, and we will not fail. <laughs> Alright, let's... Your cause is honorable, if the price is right, that sounds... Alright, let's try that, that's the middle ground. The price, of course, Storm, let us discuss your compensation. <laughs> Pledge yourselves to me and I will buy your company's debts, all of them. You'll be free to travel and see clients as you please, so long as you come to me when I call for you. And on the day that I reclaim my throne, your obligation to me will be forgiven, your debt wiped clean. Of course, you will also be paid for every battle you fight at our behest, at a rate that will feel quite generous given the clientele that you're accustomed to. Thanks to House Centrella, we have money to burn. I don't like this thought of being some noble's pawn, but I don't like being in a hawk. I don't like being in hawk to a bunch of loan sharks either. Sounds like a pretty good deal, boss. I'm just saying. Uh, I don't know. Oh, okay, okay. Money to burn. I like the sound of that. <laughs> yeah. I like the sound of that. Okay, Lady Rano, we're in. Very good. You made the right decision, Storm. You'll see that for yourself soon enough. I'll take my leave of you now. I have an army to rally and preparations to make. But it won't be long before I contact you again. Prepare yourself and your company. Our war is about to begin. Alright, here we go. Alright, so she bought our debt. We can move around a little more. We Oh, apparently we found a centurion. Oh, I gotta talk to the guy about this Russian. 
<laughs> okay, this is Russian description of a centurion. Um, I think I might put it in storage. I'm gonna leave it in storage for now. <coughs> All right, gotta do some repairs. All right. So I'll prep up those repairs next time. So that's uh, another episode of this Iron Man campaign here at the Stoic Gamer. So uh, thanks, guys, and we'll see you next time.